Relearning how to walk normally is an essential part of rehabilitation, especially for patients who've suffered a stroke. Here in Slovenia, this institute is testing a unique robot that not only helps people to walk again, but also to regain a sense of balance. Anton suffered a stroke a year and a half ago. He's only been able to walk again for a few months after traditional rehabilitation at this institute in Ljubljana. But then he took part in the testing of a prototype developed by the center's research unit. Attached to the pelvis, the device is equipped with sensors and six motors capable of accompanying the different movements of the patient. The machine is controlled in a way to follow the movement and not uh, influence it when we want that the movement is natural. On the other hand, for example, in, in stroke rehabilitation, when we want to um, work on the symmetry of walking, then we would apply corrective forces. With Anton suffering paralysis on the right side, the device encourages him to correct his gait. A screen allows him to follow in real time his performance, which was crucial for motivation. This program is part of a European research project aimed at understanding and solving problems of balance thanks to robotics. The aim is to improve his um, gait pattern, which is still uh, abnormal, and to uh, improve his gait velocity and dynamic balance, which is very important for um, moving in the, our everyday surroundings. We will stop now. This equipment helped me uh, to extend my leg and my walk procedure every day, 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 day per day, and it's better. This laboratory in the Paris region is also a partner in the project. Engineers have developed another prototype that goes even further, with an exoskeleton for the legs. The goal is to reproduce the complex mechanism of balance, which doesn't exist in the current exoskeleton. This machine is developed with actuator technology that controls the effort and not just the position. What's also particular about this is having four motorized axis points per leg. Here is a side movement of the hip that will make it possible to regain balance or to turn. Keeping balance is a big challenge. Computer researchers and engineers from several countries are working on final adjustments before human testing. The main challenge maybe is in the control of how to collaborate with the human. We don't want the exoskeleton to take over control and, and walk like a robot, let's say, with a human inside. But we want the exoskeleton to help the human when this is needed. Within a few months, Anton could be among the first to experiment with these robotic legs. But it'll take a few more years for these innovations to become more widespread.